if I was in Belgium playing overseas and I kept seeing like trade rumors and everything and I was like, you know, I'm just a rookie. Like it's no way like I could be getting traded and you know, you know, all the blogs and all the pages they putting together possible like trades, like what could possibly happen and like some of them said me, but like some of them didn't. It was like, oh, we're gonna put this person, this person for Elena, whatever. And I was like, yeah, I'm not getting traded. Like, it can't be me. I was talking to one of my friends, and they was like, well, maybe it could be you. And I'm like, but it can't. Like, I'm just a rookie. Like, I, you know, I don't know how this stuff works. Like, I, I never knew about the, this side of it. And then I looked at my phone, and it said, Coach T. I said, no way. Washington Mystics has moved their names up in the conversation with the acquisition of 2015 WNBA MVP, Elena Deladon. That's right. Elena Deladon is now with the Washington Mystics in a blockbuster trade that sent Stephanie Dolson and Kalia Copper to the Chicago like, Sky. I'm like, hello? He's like, hey. I'm like, hey, like, how are you? I think he's checking. Maybe he's just checking on me while I'm overseas. And then he's just like, you know, I try not to let you go. Like, I try everything. And he was like, the deal was kind of done. And then they were like, we're not closing it without Kai. And he's like, and you know, like, I'm just this little rookie and he's trying to get Atlanta Delta. He's like, okay, all right, take her. Sorry. He was just like, you know, I really did try like to keep you. And like, we talked about it and it was just like, you know, I guess this is kind of what happened. And I was kind of grateful for that experience early in my career because you know, I don't, I, otherwise I would probably wouldn't know how these things work, how trades work, you know, the business side of it, period. And, um, once it happened, I was just like, wow, like, I'm about to go to Chicago. And I'm like, I got to start over. Like, one thing about me, I hate starting over. Like, I'm like, I got to meet these people. Like, but I was kind of happy that Cappy was there, uh, a familiar face, because uh, she had been a lot involved with Rutgers and, like, came back a lot and supported us. So uh, I was grateful to have, like, a sister there. <laughs> It was it was definitely tough, uh, not really just not really caring about starting, but you know just not playing. And it was all new for me. You know, I'm coming to this new team. I'm trying to figure out like what it is that I can bring. You know, I'm not really too focused on like playing all the minutes. I'm trying to figure out like what is it that I can bring to this team to make me be valuable. Playing in Poland, I had such a great season in Poland that I had I had so much confidence. And you know, when COVID hit, I was like, I was so discouraged because I'm like, damn, like I'm so ready. I was so ready for like to go right into the season. I was like prepared, you know, I felt good. And then it's like COVID, and I'm like, nah, this is not stopping nothing. We didn't know if we were gonna have a season, but I'm like, we don't know if we're gonna have a season. But if we we have a season. I'm going to be prepared. I think that for me coming into that season, it was like preparation me an opportunity. One of our wings were out and it was just, it was like me coming in and starting, like just having, just having a little more freedom out there and feeling a little more comfortable. I had a longer leash. Um, and I think that as a player, you play better with a longer leash. It was really the opportunity. Uh, I just needed a, a opportunity to show uh, and then I just had to be consistent from there. Just 16 and 16 in the regular season. Facing down two single elimination games as a six seed. Ousting the top seeded Connecticut Sun in the semis. And now on the brink of their first championship. Griner's three. Rebound Parker. She's left the We were so excited when the like when they won the championship because that whole run she was doing so well it was just like it was so crazy we would never like miss a game. Kylie Copper, she's getting it going now. 
I think it was so good to see them like really winning after what happened in Vegas when they lost because we were out there in Vegas when they um, lost to Vegas in like that last second. Um, but it was so it was just exciting. Like we couldn't wait for the games to happen because we knew like they were on uphill. And like because we we won we won seven, lost seven straight. It was lost that one, I think. Yeah, it was it was something, but. <laughs> I think that all of the, all of the games that we lost were like one possession games, like nothing over like two. We didn't lose games over two possessions. So I think we started locking in on like the small things, like not giving up extra possessions, not giving up offensive rebounds. And I think we as a team kind of came together. Like we're not losing games by 40. Like we're good enough. Like if we're doing the math about all the small things that we're doing and how we're losing these games, and it's by one possession, like we're easily a better team. And I think that with the leadership that we had, uh, we all kind of came together like we're going to be a lot better and we're going to lead this team. Here in Chicago, what a team effort, but one rose above all the rest, averaging 17 points and almost six rebounds a game. Your 2021 WNBA MV Finals MVP, Kalia Copper. making sacrifice after sacrifice. How did that little girl make her dream come true tonight? I worked so hard, Holly, I worked so hard! I worked so hard! I worked so hard. I worked so hard and my teammates and my coaches believed in me and I just stayed down until it was my turn. You know she's KFC for a reason, right? It's crazy because I was sitting with, like we were in Phoenix. I was sitting with Candace, Tisha, and like some other people, we were like eating after one of the games and like Kenneth's like, you finals MVP. And I'm like, I, 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 like her and Tisha, like you finals. I'm like, no, no, don't say that. Don't say that. Like, don't say it. Like, I'm like very superstitious. And I'm like, I'm just like, don't like, let's just, let's just win. And then let's just see what happens. And it's, it's crazy because like if you, in the beginning of the season, if you look at our roster and you'd be like, they gonna be in the finals. Nobody thought that one. And then it's like, Kai gonna get finals MVP. Nobody would have ever said that. So for me to have the, the finals run, like we had such great players, it's crazy. And it's like, like Sloop was there. Sloop, Candace, Ali took over that last game. Like it could have really went any, like it could have went any kind of way. So like, I was just so nervous. Like I had people telling me like, yo, you finals MVP, but like, when you like hear your name called, yo, like this is for real. You just kind of have like a flashback of like your career and it's like, wouldn't change a thing. It's nothing I would change because I really wouldn't be the player that I am without the experiences that I had. Yeah, I think that moment was just like, this is, this is why this happened. This is why, this is why you work so hard. Like this is, this is why you work so hard. That right there, that was so special. Philly, Philadelphia went wild. We, they went crazy in here, crazy in Philly. You got a Philadelphia young lady from North Philly who kept repping her city every time she had a chance to. You would think she played for Philadelphia. You would think that she was playing here. It wasn't here, but she showed who she was from Philly, from North Philly right there in Chicago and the love that Chicago gave to her for that, the love that they still giving her right now, it's special. And it's keeping us special too. It gives them hope, definitely gives them hope and it definitely inspires. I think some people just don't think it's possible or are comfortable where they are. Um, because it, it might seem like it's too hard and it might seem like it's not worth it, but to see somebody that look like you and is from where you're from is like, okay, I can do this. Like, I can do it too. Like, she did it. Uh, she's from where I'm from and, you know, she looked like me, so I can do it too.
Oh, man. Look at my sunny. My sister, y'all saw that fried chicken ice cream? It's like you, it's like ice cream, but it's like fried chicken. Yo, she made that. No, she really a chef. I give it to her. She really the chef. She's a chef. But I make the best pancakes in the world. Me. But she really, she's the chef. My older sister is the brains. She's the brains, the brains. And my other sister, she's a cosmetologist. So she's all of that. I think we all bring different things, which is good. And then it's me, I'm like the everything, you know? <laughs> I'm like, everything. my sister the brains, and then she's the chef, and then she's like the hair and like everything. You're the mix, you're the mix. I am the mix. I got the best fashion. I am like, I'm like everything. I'm the face, I'm like. <laughs> no biggie, but yeah.